You can sign in to Glow using your logon details provided by your class teacher. After you sign in to Glow, click on the Microsoft Teams tile. After you open the Teams app, you will see a number of buttons on the left hand side of the screen that will help you navigate quickly to different areas within Teams. You can stay on top of things by clicking the Activity button. Your feed shows all of your notifications and everything that has happened lately in the channels that you follow. You can use the filter to organise your notification feed. If we click on the Teams button, you will see all of the teams that you are a member of. A team is a collection of conversations, files and tools all in one place, just like a virtual classroom. If you click on a team and select it, you can pick a channel to explore the conversation, files and other tabs within it. A channel is a dedicated discussion within a team. Let's explore the test class team. Within test class there are two channels, the general channel and the playground chat channel. The playground chat is a space for pupils to socialise and check in with their classroom teacher. This channel is moderated by every class teacher. Let's explore the general channel. The general channel holds files, conversations and tools which are important to your class. You can turn notifications for this channel on and off. At the top, you can see a number of different tabs. In posts, the channel conversations are organised by date. You can reply to a conversation by selecting reply. Here your message will be attached to a specific conversation. You can start a new conversation by typing at the bottom of the screen to compose a new message. You can type and format it here, add a file, emoji, gif or sticker to liven it up. You can mention someone by typing at, then their name or the name of a team or channel. You can share a file by clicking on Attach, the paperclip icon. Then select the file location and then the file that you want to attach. You can work with files by selecting the Files tab at the top of the screen. Here you can see all the files shared in your team or channel. You can add a new file, creating a new folder or document, upload files from your computer to this location, or download reference materials that have been shared by your class teacher. Teachers may add additional tabs to a channel. Let's explore these. Here you can see a number of additional tabs, for example, class notebook, your own personal digital notebook, where you can capture and record your work just like a jotter in class, assignments and grades. Class teachers can even add additional tabs such as websites which may be helpful. In the assignments tab, this is where you can access remote learning instructions and reference materials that have been added by your class teacher. This is also where you can hand in your class assignments. 
in the Grades tab, this is where you will find any work that has been marked by your class teacher and read any feedback that they have given. Let's explore assignments. Here you can see all the assignments that have been set by your class teacher. Click on an assignment to find more information. Here you will see the title, the due date, instructions and reference materials that have been added by your class teacher. On the right hand side of the screen you will see the icon for Immersive Reader. This is a free tool that uses proven technologies and techniques to improve reading for people regardless of their age or ability. Math L1 Money Due the 28th of May 2020 59 Closes the 28th of May 2020 59 Instructions Convert pence and pounds. Improving accessibility, Immersive Reader can improve reading comprehension and increase fluency for English language learners. This can be personalised to suit individual needs. The reference materials which your teacher shares can come in many forms. This can be a link to a video, a website, a PDF or a Word document for example. You can click to select and review reference material. These can be viewed on screen via the Teams app or you will notice that there is an option to take action. You can use the option to download, to edit, save and share your work on your digital device. You will notice that under the reference materials, there is an option for you to add your completed work. You can select the file location and type of file you would like to upload. Once you have added your work, you can select Hand In. This will submit your completed assignment to your class teacher for review. Let's explore the options you have to complete work on your desktop computer. In this example, you can see that in the section for my work, an optional digital notebook page has been added by a class teacher. Clicking on this will take you to your own individual personal notebook, which is just like your jotter in class. This is a place where you can capture and record your work. Your class notebook can be opened in Teams, or separately in the OneNote app if it is installed in your device or in OneNote online via a web browser. You can click on the ellipsis and open a document in Teams. This provides you with options to use the Immersive Reader tool, open in your desktop app if it has been downloaded from Go, print or access more options to translate, download, download as a PDF and several more. If you download a PDF document, this can still be edited on your device. For example, you can use the highlighter tool to highlight key information or add ink to the document or text. You can even add ink to your document. Your changes can be saved and then uploaded as completed work.